Smash Ultimate is still pretty new, and lots of players are still trying to find a main or pick up a secondary. Learning a completely different character can seem daunting though, so how can you go about doing so? I'm G5Cosmos for Game 5 Smash, and if you know exactly what to focus on, learning a new character can be a fairly straightforward process. What you need to learn to start out is how the character plays in the three phases of gameplay, neutral, advantage, and disadvantage. For more on these fundamental phases of Smash, you can check out my video linked in the card above. Starting with neutral, you'll want to study the best players of your character. If you're not sure who to look for, a good method is to search for Smash Ultimate and your character on YouTube, and look for tournament videos with the most views. To learn the character's neutral, look for patterns in the moves that the player seems to fish for the most. Often this will be something that starts a combo, like Wolf's Fair for example. Watch lots of footage until you have a clear understanding of what moves this character looks for in neutral at various percents and matchups. Be sure to note not just what moves the player looks for, but how they find them. When the player you're watching wins neutral with one of these moves, what comes next? Now it's time to learn about your character's advantage state. Look at what combos your character goes for at different percents. So at early percents, Wolf will look for things like fair into multiple fairs and up tilt up air, or fair grab down throw dash attack. And at higher percents, fair into back air and eventually just back air in neutral. Advantage state is more than just combos though. Study how your character juggles, traps landings, edge guards, and ledge traps. This may sound like a lot, but you only need a basic idea of one or two moves to use in each of these situations, and they'll usually be fairly intuitive. Most characters are going to juggle with up air, ledge trap with back air, and grab, etc. Lastly, how does your character play disadvantage? How do they land, escape combos, recover, and get off the ledge? Again, you're just looking for patterns in the most consistent options that top players go for in these scenarios with your character. The better your fundamentals are, the easier this process will become, as you'll be familiar with the similarities between most characters and how they'll go for the same options in different scenarios. Either way, you can use this method to define your character's goals in each phase of gameplay and make the learning process much more efficient. If you'd like to learn more personalized to your needs, you can contact me for private coaching, or tune into my stream where I review high-level gameplay and help viewers understand what's going on. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to Game 5 Smash for more tech and tips!